come across a bewildering error code on your solar inverter's display screen? We've all been there. These codes are not just random numbers. They are your solar inverter's way of communicating with you. Solar inverters, the unsung heroes of solar systems, work tirelessly to convert the sun's power into usable electricity for your home. But sometimes, they can encounter hiccups in the form of error codes. These codes are their way of telling you that something isn't quite right, and it's time to step in. This video series is all about understanding these error codes, what they mean, and how to troubleshoot them. From grid connection issues to overheating inverters, we'll cover the most common solar inverter errors to help you keep your solar system running smoothly. So let's dive right into the world of solar inverter errors. Starting off with error 01, a classic issue with grid connection or AC power supply. This error indicates that there might be a faulty electrical connection or a wiring problem. It's quite straightforward to detect. The first step is to check your AC circuit breakers, fuses, and connections. If they all seem to be in order, then the issue could be lying within your inverter's internal components. In this case, it's advisable to seek help from a professional. While it's tempting to play the DIY hero, remember that dealing with electrical equipment can be dangerous if you're not fully equipped with the right knowledge and tools. So, if you've done your initial checks and the problem persists, don't hesitate to call in the experts. Remember, if all checks out but the problem persists, it's best to contact a professional. Next on the list is error 02, echoing issues with grid or AC power supply. This error, much like its predecessor, error 01, is a signal that there could be a hitch in your grid connection or AC power supply. This might be due to a glitch in your electrical connection or a potential wiring problem. To help diagnose error 02, give your AC circuit breakers, fuses, and connections a thorough check. If all seems to be in order, it's quite possible that the problem lies within the internal components of your inverter. In such a case, it's recommended to call on the expertise of a professional. Remember, while it's great to understand and troubleshoot these errors, sometimes, it's best to let the experts handle the more complex issues. Again, if you can't resolve the issue yourself, don't hesitate to reach out to a professional. Moving on to error 03, indicating a problem with the DC power supply. This particular error could be a result of a faulty solar panel, a damaged cable, or even an issue with the circuit board. You might be wondering, how can I detect this error? Well, you start by checking the DC circuit breakers, fuses, and connections. If all appears to be in order, then the issue could potentially lie with the solar panels themselves. Now, this might sound daunting, but fear not, it's not as complicated as it may seem. However, if you're unsure or if the problem persists, it's always advisable to seek professional help. They can properly assess the situation and guide you on whether a replacement is needed. Remember, safety first. Always ensure you have switched off the power supply before attempting any checks or fixes. In case you suspect a problem with the solar panels, it's advisable to seek professional help. Next up is error 04 a potential ground fault or leakage current in the AC circuit. This is a safety concern as it can lead to electrical shock if not addressed promptly. So, what does error 04 mean? It suggests that electricity is escaping from the intended path in the circuit, potentially flowing into the ground. This can happen due to damaged insulation, water ingress, or even a faulty component in your inverter. Now, how can you detect this? One common method is to check the AC ground fault circuit interrupter, or GFCI, where the inverter is connected. If it trips, it's a clear sign that there's a ground fault. What's the solution? While it can be tempting to fix this yourself, safety must always come first. Electricity is not something to be trifled with, especially when ground faults are involved. For any ground fault issues, it's best to consult an electrician. Moving forward to error 05, typically an overvoltage issue. This error signifies that the voltage levels within your solar inverter are exceeding the recommended range. This could be due to a sudden spike in your AC power supply, a malfunction in the voltage regulator, or even a faulty circuit board in your inverter. Detecting this issue involves checking your AC voltage at the inverter and comparing it to the recommended range. If the voltage is higher than the suggested range, it's a clear indication of an overvoltage issue. Addressing this problem can be a bit tricky, if the AC power supply is causing the overvoltage, you might need to consult with your power company. However, if the issue lies within the inverter itself, it could mean that certain components, such as the voltage regulator or the circuit board, need to be replaced. For any overvoltage issues, you may need to replace the voltage regulator or circuit board. Now let's tackle error 06, 
usually a sign of an overheating inverter. In your solar power journey, you might encounter this error. It generally signals that your inverter is getting hotter than it should. This could be a result of high ambient temperatures, debris blocking the vents, or a malfunction in the cooling system. Detecting this error is relatively straightforward. Check the ambient temperature and ensure it's within the acceptable range for your inverter. If it's a scorching hot day, your inverter might simply be responding to the weather. Also, inspect the inverter's vents. Are they clogged with dust or debris? If so, a good clean might do the trick. But what if the error persists? Well, it's possible that the inverter's cooling system is not functioning correctly. In such situations, it's best to reach out to a professional. They can assess the situation and carry out any necessary repairs or replacements. In case of persistent overheating, professional help is advisable. Next in line is error 07, pointing towards an internal communication issue. This error is a little different from the ones we've discussed so far, as it concerns the communication between your inverter and the monitoring device. Essentially, it's like a misunderstanding in a conversation. The inverter is trying to send a message to the monitoring device, but for some reason, the device is not receiving it. To detect this error, you're going to want to check the communication cables and connections. Make sure they are properly connected and not damaged. If everything seems fine on that front, then the issue might be a bit more complicated. It could be a malfunction in the monitoring device itself. If this is the case, your next step would be to replace the monitoring device. Remember, communication is key in any system, and your solar inverter system is no exception. For communication errors, replacing the monitoring device might be a viable solution. Finally, we have error 08, which arises when the inverter can't synchronize with grid frequency. This error is a bit of a tricky one. It's essentially the inverter waving a red flag, signaling that something's not quite right with the AC power supply or the grid frequency itself. Now to detect this error, you'll need to check the AC voltage and frequency. If these are within the normal range, the issue might lie in the inverter's internal components. But don't worry, it's not as daunting as it sounds. A professional can help determine the exact cause and recommend the best course of action. However, if the grid frequency is off, that's a whole different ball game. It might mean there's an issue with the power supply in your area. In such cases, you might need to consult with your power company. They can help you navigate the situation and find the best possible solution. Wow, that was a lot of information, wasn't it? Let's quickly recap. We've covered a range of solar inverter errors today, each with its unique signs and solutions. Error 01 and Error 02 both point towards issues with the grid connection or AC power supply. While these can often be detected by checking your AC circuit breakers, fuses, and connections, in some cases, they might indicate internal component issues requiring professional help. Next, we discussed Error 03, which signals a problem with the DC power supply. Here, inspecting the DC circuit breakers, fuses, and connections can help identify the problem. But remember, the issue could lie with the solar panels themselves. Error 04, relating to a ground fault or leakage current, can be spotted if the AC ground fault circuit interrupter trips. This might call for an electrician's expertise to resolve. We then moved on to Error 05, indicative of an overvoltage issue. Checking the AC voltage at the inverter and comparing it to the recommended range will help you detect this error. A voltage regulator or circuit board replacement might be necessary if there's a persistent problem. Error 06 alerts us to an overheating inverter, which could be due to high ambient temperatures, blocked vents, or a malfunctioning cooling system. Regular checks of ambient temperature and the inverter's vents can prevent this error. Error 07 points towards an internal communication issue between the inverter and the monitoring device. Checking the communication cables and connections should help. However, the monitoring device might need replacement if the problem persists. Lastly, Error 08 occurs when the inverter can't synchronize with the grid frequency. Checking the AC voltage and frequency should help detect this error, but it might require professional intervention if the grid frequency is too high or too low. So, there you have it, a brief rundown of the most common solar inverter errors, their detection methods, and potential solutions. Remember, while these tips can help you troubleshoot, it's always best to seek professional help when in doubt. Thanks for watching and remember to always seek professional help when in doubt.